Hello Ruby by Linda Lucas. Journey inside the computer. Hello Ruby. Hello Ruby. Hello Ruby. Chapter one. Boring. Ruby is a small girl with a huge imagination. Anything is possible if Ruby puts her mind to it, but today Ruby is bored. There is nothing to do and nobody to play with. No fun tea parties to go to, no rafts to build, even the toys are just sitting and staring. It doesn't seem like an adventure, Ruby sighs. It does. It does? Mm. How come? Toys are good toys are what you play with. Dad had promised Ruby they would play together with the computer, but now he isn't home. Dad made a promise, I'll just go and play with the computer all by myself, Ruby says as she marches to his office. Dad's computer. Ruby turns on the computer and the screen lights up. She carefully types the password, <sighs> Little Miss Ruby 1010, and clicks. Nothing happens. Ruby clicks the mouth again, again and wiggles it a mouse. bit. Mouse, yeah. Silly computer, Ruby this mutters. This is the mouse. Is it? How do yeah. you know that? Because Daddy showed me. <laughs> All right. Computer. Oh, all of a sudden, the little white mouse sniffs and says, The computer isn't working today. What's wrong? Cursor isn't What's answering wrong? my messages, mouse says. Cursor and I always work as a team, but now he's gone missing. Ruby thinks this is starting to sound like an adventure. Well, I just happen to be the best computer troubleshooter I know. I can help you find your friends. Thank you. I've already tried everything I can think of. Follow me. I know how we can get into a computer, says Mouse. This is how I send messages into a computer. A mouse hole. Ruby has never noticed the holes on the side of the computer. All excited, she makes herself very small and crawls after the mouse. They're, they are going on an adventure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Look, she's falling into the hole. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Maybe we could fall into a computer. Maybe we could. What do you think we would find? Maybe electricians. Electricians. Yeah, electricity. Yeah, there would be electricity inside. Oh, electricians. Oh, electricians. Ooh, that sounds like a story we need to Let invent. Let me show you what one is it. Yeah. It's these little dots. Is it? Yeah. These little dots are sending electricity. Yeah. To different bits of the dots and yeah. different bits. Yeah, Whoa. I know what it is. It's kids' electricity. It is. We call it ex I call it electricity, but sometimes I call it tristricity. Tristricity. Yeah. Whoa. But sometimes we call it kids' tricity. Kids' tricity. Yeah. yeah. Downward and inward, Ruby falls until she finally lands on a big hall with billions of glittering little bits. This is snow. Snow on our computer adventure. It's dazzling, Ruby exhales. What happens? Yeah. What's happening here? Oh, these are little bits too. Yeah. These are little bits of clover. I'm attending. Just little it's bits. No. It is. Well, it's getting hard <laughs> to read. Everything in a computer is built on bits going on and off. It's Mr. Electricity who's in charge here, explains Mouse. Shall we start looking for cursor? Ruby suggests. Bits won't be any help. Trying to talk directly with bits is too tiresome. They only talk in ones and zeros, and it takes at least eight of them to work together to say anything more than yes or no. We need to get to the next level, Mouse answers impatiently. Chapter four, logic gates. Ruby and Mouse climb up the ladder and peek over the top. Yeah. Mouse points out a door in the far wall. Through there, we should be able to get some help. But there's a series of strange formations and gates in the way. Ruby and Mouse try to sneak quietly past them, but they are spotted. Hi there! If you want to go through the gates, you have to solve our riddles first. Answer either true or false. We practice logic and reason all the time. Ruby is prepared to take up the challenge. She marches off to the first gate. I have eyes and a mouth. True. I am not green. False. I have legs or a tail. True. False. <laughs> it's like it's true false. Yeah. So they ask questions that are either yes or no. True or false. One false. or zero. True is yes and false is no. That's right. No, Ruby, let's run. We'll take the shortcut, Mouse whispers. 
Yeah. Very good, Ruby. Now we can play another game. It's called Exclusive Ore. Now, Ruby, let's run. We'll take the shortcut, Mouse Whispers. Chapter 5, Computer Architecture. I know who we can ask for help, says Mouse. The CPU. But he's a very bossy and I'm afraid to interrupt him. Even from afar, they can hear something shouting commands. Fetch, decode, store, next. Ruby walks straight up to the CPU and tries to act very professional. Are you the boss here? Yes, I am the CPU of the computer. I tell others what to do. I'm very fast and right now I'm extremely busy. Mr. CPU, cursor isn't working today. Have you seen him around? The CPU looks confused. I don't know. It's not my job to remember everything. I'm very busy making decisions. You better talk to GPU. Cursor Who's is her GPU? assistant. You, her assistant. Who's GPU? GPU. GPU. I'll show That's you the G graphics processor. This is GPU. Oh, how cute! And look, she's doing all these graphics. GPU's pink. She's totally creative. G I love GPU's colors. Do you? I do because love these colours. Very, I love Hi. this whole drawing in this book. Welcome. Come, look at my beautiful creations. My secret is mathematical precision. GPU exhales. No sign of cursor here, says Mouse. Here comes Ram. Let's ask her, says Mouse. Ram is painting. I'm so hot. So why are you running all the time, asks Ruby. CPU and GPU keep bossing me. It's always me who needs to fetch every little detail from mass storage, says Ram, and continues running. We That's have a... More. Pardon? That's where. Is that Ram? Yeah. Cute. Oh, okay. We have a problem, Cursor. Has been missing mm. all day, explains Ruby. Do you remember what happened? Check mass storage. He remembers everything. At the end of the day, I'm exhausted and my head is all empty. Ruby walks up to mass storage. Ruby, you won't find Cursor here in the hardware department. You need to go to the software department, he explains, sounding very friendly and wise. Because that's where they still building. They still build things in the software? Yeah. Wow, like what? Like, they do exercise and build like that one. Yeah. That's the exercise, that's the flashing, that's the music, that's the stopping, that's the going, that's the clock, and that's how when you draw, that's when you draw. And that's when you stop it as well. And that's when you build, that's when you make a moon out of paper. Oh, how do you know all that? Because I knew it. I, I got my class showed it to me. And this is how you draw. And that's the pencil that you draw on this. And that's the music time as well. That you draw? two musics. All on a computer? Yeah. Wow, well, computers are creative tools, aren't they? Chapter 6, Software. Onwards and upwards they go. This looks familiar, says Ruby. Look, that's my favourite game. This is where Cursor should be, Mouse worries. Hello, Ruby. Oh, and great you've come, Mouse, says Snow Leopard. I'm having a little tea party here and it's been such a quiet day today. Have you seen Cursor by any chance? It's very difficult to use my operating system without Cursor. We are here to find Cursor, but asking around hasn't helped us. We must now do troubleshooting to solve this problem, says Ruby, with her determined look on her face. Chapter 7, Troubleshoot. First, we'll think of all the places where Cursor must be, might be. Next, we'll rule out the places where we've already visited and didn't find Cursor. And if that doesn't work, we'll have to think why Cursor is missing. The best troubleshooters always ask why, Ruby no says knowingly. Ah! I think I know what happened, Ruby says after a moment while pl plugging Mouse into the computer. Mouse and Cursor, you make such a great team and now you can continue working together, says Ruby. I'm such a good troubleshooter, Dad will be so proud to see how well the computer works now.